Well, this hurricane got a little bit worse than I expected. Just, just, just a little. Rolling from the beginning. Skies are perfectly clear, but that's going to change soon. Now at 430, we are tracking Tropical Depression Harvey as it moves closer to Texas. There is potential it could strengthen into a hurricane. The storm is expected to stay over the Texas coast for days, dumping more than two feet of rain before moving to Louisiana. I'm going to be watching 41,000 evacuees. As storm surges are predicted to reach up to 12 feet, along with massive flooding and widespread power outages. And welcome back. Happening now, Harvey is headed for Texas. Winds have increased to 45 miles per hour, and Harvey could be a Category 3 hurricane before it slams into the Gulf before Coast. Houston is now, and, and it looks like will increasingly be on the dirty side of this storm. Good morning, everyone. Let's get straight to the breaking news. Harvey provoking an unfolding flooding disaster in America's fourth largest city, Houston. In Texas. This is all happening right now as we come on the air, and the situation is unfortunately dire. People trapped in their flooded out homes. They are Harvey, Harvey, Harvey Dent. Hurricane Harvey was a lot worse than anyone really expected it to be. It started out as like a tropical storm. Giddy. What's up, Myla? Um, and in like two days, it ended up being a Category 4 hurricane. Yeah, it started out as sunshine and not a care in the world. You know, a day at work. And then it changed to something we are all talking about at work. I think my mom has gone a little bit crazy on the supplies for the supposed storm for the for the tropical storm soon to be hurricane but hopefully it won't amount to anything huge maybe maybe we won't need any of it i went to walmart after work um the day before it hit and it was like ransacked people were crashing into each other with buggies with their carts um it was the, the shelves were empty. It's a little, little crazy. Stopping by Walmart to grab a few things and everything is out. And let it begin. Day one of the hurricane, and it's more of a hurra drizzle. Nothing's really happened, at least in Houston. <laughs> but it remains to be seen. Apparently, it'll be a lot of flooding as time goes on. At least mom prepared. <laughs> nothing just a little bit of drizzling we are like uh maybe it wasn't that bad maybe we don't have to worry about anything maybe it was overhyped maybe its bark was worse than its bite so that's when I decided that evening to go to my friend Alan's apartment I'm actually gonna see if I can make my way to Alan's house See if we can do anything productive. And we were just gonna play cards, you know, have some fun, have some snacks, watch a little TV. And that's when I got stuck there for several days. <laughs> Shout out to you, Al. Shout out to you. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for hosting me for a little while. Hi. What are we gonna do for the hurricane? Um, 
we're probably gonna play games. And there's other people coming over. And yeah, we're not going to church, apparently. That's canceled. Maybe online. It's pending. <laughs> Day two, I'm still at Allen's and everything is definitely flooded. Are you ready? I think so. Mismatched waterproof shoes and all. Well, there goes our trail. Uh-oh. Okay, it's picking up a little bit. Ugh. How you feeling now? Good. Refreshed. That was an adventure. <laughs> so I guess we're staying in for breakfast today. Ugh. It's a little, a little stormy outside. Holy crap. <laughs> Look at that flooding downtown. There's supposed to be a road going under that railway. To the north, this is a severe thunderstorm that uh, is radar indicated rotation that could produce a tornado located over uh, Brookside Village near the Pearland area. It is moving north at 35 miles per hour. So So we're gonna go try to find some food because everything's flooded. Hopefully we don't get stuck. <laughs> yeah. Well, guess we're not getting food at Kroger. The feeder street is low, and people are going, and then they're turning. They're turning around. Check out how deep that that cart is right there. That thing's underwater. We found another grocery store, but it's a madhouse. getting way more food than we thought we would. Oh well. What? I said we ended up getting way more food than we thought we would. And now we're trying to find horny goat weed. Stop it. Interesting.
it just keeps raining and it won't stop the streets are flooding even more it's day three we're still trapped in the apartment we got a little break from the rain but it's gonna come back a lot of our friends um, and co-workers have had flooded houses, have had ruined cars, but so far we've been fine. We're just still trapped inside the apartment. Um, I'm thinking we have enough food for now too. Just have to reuse a lot of my clothes. I didn't plan on staying this long. Apparently now you can drive in whichever way you so desire. This car is going up the entrance ramp. Some cars are going down it though. We'll see what happens. So we're trying to leave the apartment, but I guess we have to go back. Doesn't look like we're getting out of this one. Ready for the storm to be over. So the main message is if you can stay home, stay home, stay off the roads, leave it for emergency personnel. You see, this is what happened. We have hurricane here and it formed, let's say here. And then it was headed and hit directly like right above Corpus. But then there's also like a front coming and then there was also Let's make this uh, purple. There's like a high pressure or something here and a high pressure or something here. And so Mr. Mr. Harvey right here could not go any, any further. Blocked off. So what ended up happening is it kind of came back down, gathered more steam and then hit it this way each time hitting Houston which is us right here now I know there's a lot of signs and hashtags and news regarding Houston and pray for Houston I get that but there are a lot of other areas that were affected as well and I think sometimes we forget that but greater Houston did get hit with a lot of flooding I think the floodwaters are starting to lower down, so I might try to go home today, see how far I can get. Wish me luck. Still raining though, still raining. making a lot of food for some of the officers and the local law department, fire department nearby. I think an end to the storm has finally come. But there's a lot of friends, a lot of 
people I know that are suffering out there, whose house took water and damage, a lot of limbs down and a lot of waters, high waters and roads um, that are just flooded everywhere. So, so onto the road to recovery. But Houston's resilient. But I'll see you guys in a little bit. Have a good one. Peace.